Hey guys, Kylie here. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting in a horse stall. <laughs> um, we've been debating on whether to make a video or not of the, I guess you could call it the realistic side of cattle ranching and farming and the not so fun side. Um, so we had an Angus cow um, that went downhill within like 24 to 48 hours. Um, we had a vet come out. We were just trying to figure out what was wrong with her because we've never seen anything like it. She is healthy one day and down and out and can't get up, can't eat, can't do anything the next day. Um, so we did some blood work on her um, just as soon as we could, um, thinking it was a like a tick-borne disease. They call it anaplas. Um, come to find out she has le leukemia, a bovine leukemia virus. Um, it is exactly what it sounds like for leukemia in humans. It's a cancer. Um, it's nothing that is curable at this stage um, in, a, in the cow, um, unless we wanted to spend tens of thousands of dollars and uh, with a very slim chance of her actually surviving it. Um, so we had to make the tough call today to put her down. Um, it was no life for her. She couldn't get up. She had lost a lot of weight. She couldn't eat. It just was not fair to her. So we had to make the call. Um, as you guys have heard in some of our videos, we have um, our breeding season starts about March, April. So we knew this cow was pregnant. Um, we made the call to do an emergency C-section on her, um, not knowing what the outcome was gonna be like. Uh, we had a general idea when the baby was due. Um, obviously it would be a, a premature baby and we just have to you know, pray and fingers crossed that everything works out in our way. Um, so I'm gonna show you this little girl. She is having a hard time breathing. Um, she's had all the medicine in the world that <laughs> vets can think of um, to just try to get her lungs to develop. Um, she is extremely small, um, but here she is. Like I said, she's alert. She's eating or has ate some, but as you can hear, her, lab her breathing's labored. She uh, is just having a hard time. So I'm just in here with her so she knows she's not by herself. Have her propped up on my leg. And obviously we have our heat lamp going on her. And we'll just hope that she pulls through and knows that she's uh, well loved and we have tried everything we can on her. So we will... Uh, Definitely take some videos and keep you guys um, updated on this uh, not so fun, <laughs> but the journey that a lot of us cattle people have to go on. Um, so <laughs> my pregnancy brain's trailing me not to cry. <laughs> so we will um, we'll keep you guys updated um, and hopefully we have some good news for you guys here in a couple hours. Hopefully she makes it through the night. If we make it through the night, um, our chance of survival is a lot higher than it is right now. So we'll keep you guys updated. Do you hear that swallow go all the way down? Then you just set it in the back room, on the shelf. Yeah, 
put back under here. Does that help me to try to get up? Just got back. We ran to the store, our local co-op, to get a smaller nipple for her. And she was snoozing away when we got here, breathing, still breathing hard, but sounds significantly better than an hour ago. So hopefully this is a good sign. She's drank a little bit of colostrum So we're gonna let her sleep and we'll be back in probably about an hour to give her some more colostrum. Baby girl sounding a whole lot better. It's oh, about five o'clock. Sounding better sleeping comfortably right now, so we're gonna leave her alone and let her sleep a little bit longer before we try giving her another bottle of, or another couple ounces of colostrum. What you doing? Because I'm hungry. So what time is it now that now that your phone's back to working? It's 7:30 in the evening, the day she was emergency C-section from her mama. As you guys can see, she's breathing significantly better than she was on the video before this. So as you guys saw in the other video before this, um we're feeding her two ounces of colostrum every hour. Um, that's what our, our vet recommended, and that's what we're doing. Um, her colostrum needs to be in 105 to 110 degrees on warm water. So we're going to let it be a little warmer than it needs to be because we have to walk out to the barn so that it'll cool off really quick. So this colostrum comes with a... I think it's probably an ounce scoop. Um, we're doing two thirds scoop. So roughly about two thirds scoop um, straight into the bottle. Oh, sorry about that. And then full or two full scoops of water, also right into the bottle. And then we'll give this a really good shake. Um, this is a nipple she seems to be doing really good on. So we'll give this a really good shake on our way out to the barn and let's go feed her. Hi baby, are you hungry? Oh, hi. Would you like some? really hard to do one-handed. I'm going. Maybe coming out 
too fast now. So in that video, it's nine o'clock. She's resting comfortably. Wasn't too hungry, but she's also very tiny. So a little bit goes a long ways. So we'll uh, let her be and we'll be back out in an hour. It's about 10.30, let's see if she's hungry. So I switched the nipple out. And she's taking this one much better. There you go. She's trying really hard to stand up. Um, honestly kind of encouraging her not to at this point and giving her a little bit more energy before she tries. But she drank that little bottle, so looking good. See you guys around midnight. Like I said earlier, she's really trying hard to stand. She's still hungry, but playing it a little safe because we feed her too much. If her insides haven't developed enough, we could kill her. So, a little bit at a time. I have a feeling she'll be standing by morning, so. And she's still telling me she's hungry, but. It's 1.30, and we're hungry, so. It's very hard to do one-handed, so I'm gonna put this down, but there you guys go. It's 3.30 in the morning. She is loving this uh, breakfast. We had our first poop. 1.30 this morning, so that's really good. She's been peeing, so that's really good also. So, everything's looking, looking pretty good. We've increased her colostrum to three ounces every hour and a half or two. So she's... <laughs> come back towards the end of it, she's... Uh, Thinking she's really hungry, so that's a very good thing. So, see you guys at 5.30. Somebody's hungry. She doesn't know that 5.30 is not a real breakfast time. Oh, almost. Come on. Very difficult to do. See, sometimes it just takes two hands.
Baby, we can't both move. Right there, no. There you go. What was that? You gonna do it? Here, why don't you just take some more breakfast? Or whatever meal you think this is after food every hour and a half. Almost. You're starting to get your joints. You'll be up before the day's over. Good morning, everybody. It's 7.30. <clears throat> Message the vet and see what he says for action today. She made it through the night, obviously. She's still hungry, so has an appetite. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's so hard. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. Here you go. There you go. She still needs a little help latching on sometimes, so. But little sweetheart's doing pretty good, I think. So we'll see what the vet says today and hopefully keep on the right track. Good morning, guys. It's uh, about 8.30 on Friday. Um, just thought I would hop on here and give you guys a quick little update. Um, like I said earlier in the videos, you're probably not seeing this um, until we're comfortable um, sharing um, the sudden arrival, I guess, of this calf um, and the circumstances leading up to it. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, 
um, she continues to progress and how she is now um, and we can have you guys see on this hopefully this weekend um, but we um, talked with the vet this morning um, everything seems to be going good um, she's mooing she's peeing she's pooping she's um, pretty act or pretty alert her ears are up um, she seems to be pretty pretty doing really good pretty much um, what's what I'm looking for she's all there um, which is a lot better than what anybody expected her to do at this point um, so we're still um, feeding every hour and a half two hours she's only getting about two ounces at feeding um, that's just uh, more for her insides to be able to develop or fully develop more um, before we push a lot of food to her. So she's still getting um, a quart and a half or so of, of milk or colostrum slash milk. We're, we're going to switch her over to milk today um, in a 24-hour period. So that's still um, exactly what she needs. It's fine for her. Uh, we'll keep eyes on her, make sure her sugar levels are looking good, uh, making sure she's staying warm. Um, it, it honestly kind of looks like she's a little red angus under that heat lamp we have her under but she is a black angus um we haven't gotten a weight on her or anything but she is very small um by far the smallest calf we've ever had their estimation she's got hair um she is missing a few patches we assume she's probably anywhere from two to four weeks early um just based on size but um at least everything seems to be going good. Um, fingers crossed, we're still not out of the woods. Um, the vet, we gave her another round of decks today, which is a steroid. Um, that's more to help with her lung development, make sure those are developing good. Um, tomorrow, if she's still doing good as, as she is today, we'll give her another round of antibiotics and another round of steroids. And then we should be on the path of no medication from then. Um, and hopefully start bumping up her feed and getting her uh, milk a little bit, you know, where we know her stomach can handle it. Um, but uh, Aaron and I are both exhausted. It was a very long night. We kind of took turns on um, who was getting up and who was going out to feed her and uh, all of that good stuff. So. Uh, we're lucky enough to have some help today while I'm at work. Aaron's at a conference for, a, it's a cattleman's conference. Um, so we're lucky enough to have some help today um, feeding her throughout the day. And then we'll, I'll do several of them also. Um, but I just wanted to jump on here and keep you guys a little updated on it. And uh, hopefully you guys will be seeing this soon. That's good. So it's about 12.30. We had a little scare at our last feeding. She wasn't very awake. <laughs> I think we woke her up from her afternoon nap. But we went to town to get some Cairo syrup to give her thinking maybe her blood sugar was getting a little low. Came in here and she's the baby that she was <laughs> this morning. I'm, whole, I'm bracing her, but she really wants to stand, so 
this is uh, very good for her just to get her legs a little stretched out. She's still not quite, I mean, she's shaking underneath me, so. But we'll uh, let her stand here for a little bit longer. We'll feed her in a, oh, those were some steps. You guys might see her fall, so you can't get mad at me if I let go of her. But she really wants to walk, so we're gonna. You got it, sister. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Good job. So you guys just watched some first steps there. <laughs> We're gonna make her come back over here, and we'll we'll bed her down and go eat some lunch, and then we'll give her a. Uh, Give her some food in about an hour or so. But this is the baby we like to see. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble now. She's figuring out those legs. Still wobbly, but... Go back over. Are you, are you ready for a nap? Yeah. Okay. Just gave her her bottle. It's 4.30. She had her bottle about 4. She's been up walking around. Oh, careful. Doing pretty good. There you go. So it's whoop. Get your feet. Milk drunk. <laughs> I think it's about seven o'clock. Uh, it's Friday, so she's been she's been on Earth. I guess on land for. 24 hours? <laughs> no. Like 27, Don't listen to the side conversation. 27 hours. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you can see, she's doing much better. Um, we're still not out of the woods yet. Um, the vet was saying get her through the third day. And our chance of survival increases quite a bit. But as you can see, she's doing pretty good. <clears throat> She, uh, we were just here about 30 minutes ago, and she wouldn't even look at us, wouldn't look at a bottle, nothing. So I gave her a little bit of Cairo syrup, and as you saw when we walked in, she uh, <clears throat> was up and ready to see us and was hungry. So that's a really good thing. Um, as a lot of you guys know, Chad and his wife are coming out tomorrow to pick up some longhorns and so we're gonna we're gonna post a video of her tonight so you guys can see everybody um but just know keep her in your uh your thoughts for several more days where we're not out of the 
<laughs> not of the scary side of it yet. So we definitely um, are falling in love with her pretty darn quick. So we hope you guys enjoy her and we hope she's a uh, sticks around for a long time. 